Good afternoon, welcome to my laboratory. Um, I realized that uh, centimeter precision wasn't too impressive on that last video, f so I changed the code a little bit uh, to go ahead and display the distance in millimeters and in tenths, this is supposed to be tenths of an inch. I didn't have room to actually write out tenths there, so uh, millimeters and tenths of, uh, of an inch. So that was a very easy um, code change. And I also implemented uh, a proximity alarm in there. This is the alarm LED, and I have it set for a proximity of 300 millimeters. So if I move my hand in, my hand's not really a very good ultrasonic target, but you can see that the light goes on there. So this is a pretty good target for ultrasound. Um, The end of the ruler is about there. The beginning of the ruler is just a little bit out in front of the of the uh, ping sensor. Three, three. I think that's actually pretty damn good. So if I move the thing just a little bit, three oh nine. It has a resolution of about two millimeters, I think, reliably. I'm going closer and closer now. So there's the alarm actuation. And there's it turning off. And uh, what I'm doing is just moving this little disc just a little bit to achieve that on, off, on, off, on, off, on, there's no like this. Okay, so somewhere around one millimeter of resolution just with this impromptu setup, one to two millimeters of resolution. And of course, my hand is none too steady. I'm shaking like an old man. Let's see here. So the accuracy is fair, the precision is pretty good to a couple of millimeters. And the alarm works as designed. Now I suppose it would be possible to actually implement some kind of Doppler uh, system here uh, where you could... Well, no, I think the parallax actually puts out a fixed frequency chirp when it pings, but you could certainly time the, uh, the, the rate of change of the time it took for the return to arrive, and then that way derive a velocity, approach recession velocity. Uh, measurement. Maybe I'll do that next. Thank you for watching.